Hey everyone, this is King of Valence. I'm here doing a Space Stage speedrun tutorial. I feel like Space Stage sometimes is more intimidating because there's a lot going on. If you just watch the world record, it's sometimes confusing because there's a lot going on and not really well explained just by watching. I'm here to break down every detail and give, hopefully give everyone, anyone who's watching the chance to beat this stage in under 5 minutes. That's the goal. So if you load Spore up, you'll see that your galaxy is different than my galaxy. And that's not really fair for speedrunning. So what I did, I went on, if you go to SRC on speedrun.com, if you click here, I put the my exact galaxy up for download. You just click here, it's the zip file, so just extract it however you want, and then place that into your roaming files. That's where your galaxy files are being held. So make a backup of this before you delete anything. You have to move this file out of this folder and then place the one you just downloaded into it. And rename the, the file that you just downloaded so it matches what it was originally. So Spore can recognize it. If you're just using Steam like me, it's just capital S Spore. If you're using the disk, it's some, I think it's in all caps. So just rename it to match how it was so Spore can recognize it. All right, back to Spore. I'm gonna continue the speed run continue the tutorial. So when you load up, you'll see it's all it's all locked, but just use the levels cheat, levels unlock, and it'll be all good. Also, if you look in the settings, these are my, I feel like the best settings that look the best without being totally distracting. Keep 512, helps with some crashing sometimes. This is the best that my monitor can do, and no full screen, it'll help with OBS recordings. And in the Sporpedia, there's nothing going on. That's a local, so I can just delete that. So there's nothing going on. So just go in space. Let's do easy. There's no category difference for any of the difficulties because they're all pretty similar. And we'll begin. So timing will start as soon as the cutscene, not the load screen is done, but as soon as the cutscene is done, the timing will begin. So you always play as Wanderer because you don't have not allowed to have any consequence abilities because those are from other stages. We want to just have stuff from space stage. So timing would start right there. Hit Y on your keyboard. Just go one, two, one, two, three to skip the intro tutorial cutscene. So what's cool about this galaxy is the starting planet you want to go to is super close by. So just head on over. It's not super far away. It saves a lot of travel time. The spaceship is always over here, because it's always the same. If you spam click, it's faster than just holding click. So you save a little little time here and there, but that adds up when the stage is only five minutes. So what's cool about the first required mission is that traveling doesn't require any fuel. So just click back and forth, back and forth, and we're trying to get to Interstellar Drive. We're trying to get Interstellar Drive 2, and that unlocks with Frequent Flyer 2. So there's Frequent Flyer 1. Just ignore it and keep clicking back and forth, back and forth, until you get Frequent Flyer 2. I'd say a good speed is getting Frequent Flyer 2 under one minute. That way you're on pretty good pace. So this takes a little practice. It's hard to do it and talk at the same time, but not too bad. There's Frequent Flyer 2. Let's go into the new planet. Double tap escape to escape the cutscene and prompt. Spam just like before. Now I get to leave the wrecked city planet, and now we're going back to our home planet. That's the last required mission we have to do. So hit Y to bring up the chat. You can say OK, and we can completely ignore it. This is really where the speedrun starts getting fun. So I like leaving that mission up because it shows you which way to go. So this is the way they want you to do for the the planet, but I'm going to go the other way. We're actually going to go here. This is our first empire we want to meet. Try to get to this empire in four jumps. So one, two, three, four. It costs fuel per jump. So the most optimal you can drive, the more you can save. So skip this cut. Same when you arrive. Hit Y to bring up the chat. Same piece. You refuel for a 1400 because you drive drove in four. Okay, so this is where the entirety of the RNG lies. So we're going to try to sell the spice to make enough money to make it to the center. So I'm going to bring up my little notepad. This is what we're doing. We want to 
we're going to buy 167,400 spore bucks to complete. So if we got the 5,000 ones, that's going to be a reset. But most of the time, you'll get 6 out of 11 chance of actually being able to continue. So I'm just going to reset. Don't worry, only a minute and a half in. Just give it another go, and you're more likely get a good run. So I'll be right back. All right, so the last time was bad RNG. That happens to everyone. But just give it a good old reset, and this time, we have enough. So we sell all of our spice. It's plenty of money to make it to the center. So what we're going to do is buy Interstellar Drive 2 for 75000 and before we leave, make sure to get a trade route. We go to this empire in particular because since they're a blue happy face, we don't have we can just get a trade route for free. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to give them any money. They'll just take our trade route. So now we're just gonna head to the center and just get everything we need on the way. So just nice and calmly. Just follow this route. Try to follow follow along if you can. Nice and smoothly. I'm using the uh, the arrow that pointing to the center of the galaxy. It's kind of like a compass. So, as my my marker of where to go, don't click on too many because you're gonna run out of fuel if you click on too many. So we're trying to get to this empire. Here are the coordinates if you get lost. Trying to get to this empire. So this is where nope, oh, don't back up too much. This is where the the, tor the uh, speed run will get sometimes confusing. So, this is what we're doing. So we're saying hello. You can refuel. So notice now, energy packs are lost because we're trying to get the Trader One badge. So we're gonna buy. We're gonna get another trade route. These people are also blue happy face, so we can just get the trade route. Say goodbye and then go back in. And now the energy packs are unlocked. So buy all five for twenty-five thousand. And now we're just going to continue our merry way to the center of the galaxy. Just follow this path. This is the most optimal path in this direction. We're actually going to use some of our energy packs on the way to our third pit stop. And that will be our last stop. I know this route really well because I've done it a million times. But I'm sure if you just do it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. So I'm running out of fuel. So this is a good time to explain. If you you can use the numbers on your on your keyboard, and it will use all of these. But if you hit Control, it'll move it down. So you can hit Control and one, and that will use your energy pack. So that way you can continue clicking over here, and use your energy packs at the same time. So I'm gonna use a second energy pack. Should only have to use two. Don't worry, our last stop's coming up. It's right there. Plenty of fuel. Got a whole one jump left. Plenty of fuel. And here are the coordinates in case you get lost. This is what we're trying to get to. So this is the most confusing uh, pit stop. So we're going to say hello. They're also a blue happy face. That's so we can buy the energy packs. So we say come in peace. Buy the refuel. And now we're going to buy energy packs. All five. So this is important. So you hit goodbye. We're going to unlock Traveler 1. That's for meeting three empires. This is going to unlock us crop circles. When you unlock a badge that unlocks an item, it will refresh the local planet's inventory. So you can then buy another five energy packs. That way you don't have to go to another empire or hope that that particular star system has two, star, two planets and you can buy ten energy packs from the same people. All right, all that's left is to make it to the center of the galaxy. That means you just have to drive through the Grox. It's not too bad. We have everything we need. We have our 13 energy packs, plenty of energy packs to make to the center. Just don't forget about them when you're traveling. The Grox aren't that bad. Don't let the Grox intimidate you. The Grox are very, very slow. So let's travel through. What I like to do is keep my thumb on control so I can move the numbers down and keep my middle finger on one. But you're going to have to skip a couple stuff with escape so you can get through some cutscenes and some pop-ups. So I start out going a little bit and then refueling early. As long as you don't refuel too much it exceeds the bar, you won't be losing any energy packs. So at this point I like keeping my finger on escape because we're about to have to skip some cutscenes. So skip that cutscene and skip that cutscene. 
And now go back to refueling. One of those was you're getting too close to the center, so your distance is closing. And one was you're in enemy territory. And now that the Groks are angry, you're going to hit escape to ignore uh, your reward for causing a war. And just keep driving and refueling. The Groks are too slow, so as long as you keep clicking, keep driving, you'll be just fine. So don't forget about refueling, and they can't get you. So keep going. Whenever you can refuel, just do it. You have plenty of energy packs. Just follow this route. Rewatch this a few times if you don't know where I'm going. Try it out. Remember, you can use refill motives at any time if you get stuck on a practice run. Just keep refueling. Just keep going. Use the compass to guide you. Just keep going. Just keep going. Nice and easy. Nice through the grogs. Grogs are too slow. They can't get you. See? Plenty of fuel. You can hit pause by hitting tilde, and you can zoom in to your ship. That way they can't get you. So you zoom in, just click on the center, and you made it. Super easy. Well, hopefully that helped you get a super fast space stage speedrun. Just for a recap, we spent 75000 on Interstellar Drive 2, 1400 for making four stops, 7000 at our next pit stop for refueling, then five energy packs, at our final pit stop, we spent 7,000 on refueling, and then 10 for that combo where we bought 5, unlocked them again through the badge, and then another 5. So that was a total of 167,400. Hopefully that was helpful, and good luck on your speedruns.